What's going on guys? Welcome back into the channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about features that are in other EA games that are not included within Madden, but definitely should be. And we're going to be taking a look at this from a franchise-focused perspective, because that's where I play the game, that's where most of my friends play the game, that's where I feel like a large portion of the player base is focused, and the community right now is still looking for improvements within franchise mode and within the game as a whole and I feel like they don't have to look far in order to find ways to improve the game because there are so many features that are within franchise modes and other similar modes within other EA titles EA themselves that uh, that are not included within Madden and I feel like they should be taking inspiration from the other EA games in order to compile their best ideas and come up with the best possible franchise franchise mode and gameplay within Madden for the future. Now, hopping over to FIFA here real quick, a lot of what we have going on in today's video is going to be pulled primarily from the two other major EA titles with FIFA 22 as well as NHL. These are going to be games that have some amount of success within their own markets. I know that FIFA is potentially up for license negotiations and things might be changing in terms of who's actually got the major sports title for soccer. And I know that NHL has had some disappointing years, but nonetheless, there are certain specific features within these games that could be utilized to improve Madden. The first of these major features that needs to be brought to Madden that is in both FIFA and NHL is free agent negotiations. Here you can see a sit down meeting between my manager and a free agent player. You can see the designated symbol next to 71 overall. He does not have a team right now. We have an actual negotiation process with this player that includes everything from squad role to his recommended wage to a signing bonus to everything you could possibly want in a free agent negotiation with a player. This is actually one of the areas that I feel that FIFA does the best. We can accept, we can negotiate, we can decline, we can decide do we want this player to be a, a prospect? Do we want them to be a rotational player? Do we want them to be a star player on the team? Do we want to sign them to one year? Do we want to sign them to a three-year deal? Maybe a five-year deal? Um, and you know various other things here so we can get a good break down here of what's actually going on with a free agent and we have availability to do more than just sign them to a predetermined amount of money on a one-year contract because that has been a major problem within Madden. Now, like I've said in the past with my videos, this is something that they have to put into the game. It wouldn't be that complicated to put into the game. Honestly, the system doesn't have to be that much more than a off-season negotiation system that they already have within the game. They just have to bring it over to the regular season. This is mid-season, and I can go through, and I can find these free agent players, and I can very easily negotiate a contract with them to bring them to the team that's a feature that has to be brought over to Madden and I don't think it would be that complicated to do because you already have a negotiation system within the game at the very least it should be available during the regular season as well now the other feature here staying on FIFA that absolutely has to be brought over to Madden is a more detailed contract negotiation system. We're hopping into another negotiation here with a free agent, but the system to negotiate a contract with a player that you buy from another team or to negotiate with a player that's already on your team that you're trying to extend their contract is very similar. You're always going to get these various stages of the negotiation that are going to have very levels of importance to the team and to the player. The player is going to have a specific goal and you're going to have a specific goal in mind. So you can always switch these things within uh, the negotiation system. And unfortunately, a detailed contract negotiation system is not present within Madden. There aren't player desires and things of that nature, obviously apparent within the negotiation system. Yeah, there's a bid point amount. There's a, a number amount that it says you're 
your your bid point is worth you know 100 points or 110 points or something like that but it really doesn't ever come out and say hey i want to be a prospect i want to be a rotational player i want this amount of playing time i want to be a star on your team i better be guaranteed a first team job it doesn't ever come out and say anything of that nature and you never really get into what the player wants monetarily you're really just presented with a simple figure and you have to sign them for that figure or else you're out of luck so this is a process that and like i said the free agency aspect of it is in both fifa and nhl but the detailed contract negotiation side of things that absolutely could be brought over to any other ea game any other ea sports title is just simply here within fifa and there's no reason that the dev team on madden can't look at this and say yeah we'll put something similar like this into uh, madden for us to be able to use in future years so the next aspect of this that absolutely this above all else has to be added into the game is a system to determine a prospect's role and desired role with the team this is something that i can't believe to this point has never been thought of to be added to madden and it is a very simple process to add this into the game this is in FIFA. I believe there is also a similar process involved with NHL and you look at the other major sports titles that are out there that aren't EA games like MLB and there is a role system within that game as well whether the player is going to be a prospect a crucial player important rotation sporadic you have all of these options that absolutely play the factor into the NFL and whether a player signs a contract with a designated team I cannot believe to this point that we don't have a system like this that's very simple a player wants a certain role you can negotiate maybe up a level down a level something like that and decide what role this player is actually going to have with your team whenever you sign them this has to be added into the game for future years this is such a basic concept that if they don't go and add this into the game especially especially if somebody over there at the EA Madden dev team sees this video if they do not add this to the to the game I might lose my mind because this is something that is so basic it's within another EA title and they have yet to bring this to Madden Next up over here on FIFA, a very much related tab that needs to be added into the game is a shortlist. And yeah, this is kind of a soccer specific idea with a short list of players that you can transfer for, but why can't I have a short list of players that are on my radar to be signed or traded for within Madden? This would be very helpful to those of us that run multiple years within a franchise mode or something of that nature and owner mode within Madden and I think that this is something that is a very basic addition to the game this is something that is on every GM's mind is a listing of players that they like within the league that are potentially available that might be on expiring contracts that might be available for trade we shouldn't have to every single time we go out and make a trade look for each of the players that we, we might want to bring to the team instead we should be able to do that one time add a bunch of players to a list that we have available to us and then go through that list and pick and choose okay this is the player that i want to bring in right now this is a player that maybe i want to keep an eye on and see if they become a free agent or something of that nature but any listing that we can put players on to monitor for trades for free agency for the draft i know that we kind of have a draft board but not really these are gm specific types of additions to franchise mode that are super simple and should have been in the game a long time ago but for some reason we still aren't getting them if you truly as a team of madden devs want to make franchise mode better and make it more immersive for the community then add some of these team management specifics that aren't all that complicated i think listings of players specifically would be relatively simple to accomplish so i definitely want to make sure that they add some type of a short list you don't even have to call it a short list 
whatever they might utilize as a NFL football term for this listing. Um, you want to have the availability to have a quick list to reference to, okay, hey, I want to make a trade. It's the trade deadline. Trade deadline's about to happen in an hour or so. I need to quickly formulate a deal and I don't have anywhere to start within Madden because I have no listing to go off of. So now I have to search position by position, age, I have to search by overall, I have to search by contracts, and I have to do all this stuff every single time I want to go and make a trade, and I can never save these players on a specific list. At the very least, I have to write it down on my own in a note on my phone or on a piece of paper, and that is certainly a disadvantage and something that I think that it would be super simple to add a bit of immersiveness to the game that, again, is already within FIFA here. And then finally, for those of you guys that clicked onto this for Madden, I want you to pay attention to what I'm about to show you here within FIFA because the potential that this would present to a football game, to a Madden game, is immense. In FIFA, you have the ability to click on your team squad and you have the ability to go into individual tactics. You can set for any given set play. You can set how many players are going into the box, for example, how many players are in the box on a corner. You can set your team width, your team depth. You can set all this stuff. But beyond that, and there are applications for that within NFL football, within Madden, you can set position specific roles and instructions, which to me is something that absolutely should be within a professional football game. Within football, now that I'm actually coaching football and you know beyond having just played, I see the depth that you go to to give certain players certain instructions. And on each game, the instructions vary from position to position. And there's so much that goes into it. And I'm sure it gets to an even higher level at college and an even higher level still at the NFL level, the fact that we cannot give players specific individual instructions from game to game is, is honestly kind of crazy. Yeah, we do have coaching instructions within the game, so we can make minor adjustments that affect the whole team or a whole position group, but there's no reason that within an NFL game, for example, imagine these three players being my three wide receivers up here at the striker position uh, and the winger position. There's no reason I can't tell my left receiver to cut their curl routes short. There's no reason that I shouldn't be able to set my second receiver, my slot receiver, to always come back to the ball, always attack the football. And there's no reason that I shouldn't be able to tell my other receiver a certain specific instruction on their routes and on the type of play that they're doing in order to make sure that I have my players playing appropriately and designated for that specific week or that specific opponent or my specific game plan. You could think about different roles and instructions for every single team within an NFL game, and unfortunately, it's only here in FIFA, and I really like the idea of being able to tell certain players to stay back at a certain level or, you know, drop to a certain level. You know, for example, I can tell certain guys to be more aggressive on their interceptions. Let's say I could tell him to be more aggressive on his interceptions, and then I tell the opposite defender to be less aggressive on interceptions. Unfortunately, you can't do that within Madden. If you're telling your guys to be aggressive, then they all go to aggressive. If you're telling your guys to be conservative, then they all go to conservative. But that's not how football works. You can give individual players and individual positions differing instructions and differing roles, game to game, quarter to quarter, drive to drive. So these are things that need to be thought about within EA's dev team for Madden and need to be brought over to Madden 23 or whatever it might be in order to make it a true football game. It's honestly kind of crazy to see that this level of detail, and I'm sure that it goes even beyond this in real soccer, this level of detail is present within an EA game, but it is not present within Madden, EA's Madden. It's present within EA FIFA, but it's not present within EA Madden. So it just goes to show the lack of communication there between the studios that are working on these games. There's no reason that the Madden devs are not taking a look at what's available within EA's very own title and, you know, messaging these people or calling these people up and saying, hey, how do we get this into the game? How did you guys get this into your game? How do we improve this aspect? How do we you know, brainstorm a way to get this into this aspect of this game. These things absolutely need to be brought over to Madden.
Next up, we're going to go ahead and transition over to NHL real quick to take a look at a couple of features that are within NHL 22 that definitely should be within Madden as well. We'll just hit real quick on the fact that you can always negotiate with a free agent player and you have a little bit of flexibility in negotiation with that free agent player. You don't always have to sign them to a one-year predetermined amount of money. So we've already mentioned that topic, but the other thing here that is not 100 percent present on the screen where I'm at right now but has been present in EA games before is the ability to front load and back load contracts now I'm not going to speak too too much on this I don't feel like it's that complicated to add into the game but within varying different sports you have the ability to front load and back load a contract and structure contracts in different ways we've talked about on multiple occasions players within the NFL that have front loaded or back loaded contracts you could look at a contract like a Taysom Hill that has voidable contract years and stuff like that. And you also talk about in the NFL how there is the option to restructure a contract. And the same options apply to other sports and have been in these other games at varying different levels at certain points in time. So when we talk about contracts, contracts as a whole need to be improved because they are at a better, better status within games like NHL and FIFA. And the front loading and back loading of contracts needs to be be there. There need to be other options and things available within contracts within Madden, and you can certainly look to EA's NHL or EA's FIFA in order to get inspiration as Madden devs and improve the way that Madden contracts work based on what's already available for us in other EA titles. Now the next option here that is incredible to me that is within NHL and somehow hasn't made its way to Madden or actually has been in Madden in the past is customization. But nonetheless, I understand there are licensing issues and stuff like that within the game, but I there are ways to, to do this properly and NHL does a decent job of it. So you can do an expansion draft. And this is one of my main points is the NFL has talked about expanding for years and years and years and years and they're still talking about expanding to Canada and expanding to Europe and all this different stuff. But for some reason, we never have the option to actually create an expansion team. Whereas we can see right here, we have a 33 team expansion draft possible within NHL, EA's very own NHL. And I understand, like I said, licensing for the different sports is different and whatnot. Uh, but we certainly have to take into account that within this very game, within this very company that says they can't do it for Madden, there are options to customize teams and create a team and expand a franchise uh, within one of their very own games. So we have to keep that in mind. And then we can create a team and the customization options here are akin to what to, used to be available within previous Madden games. You can select your very own logo. You can go in and select logo style and find a bunch of predetermined logos and I believe there is even potential to create your own logo and things like that. So I don't understand why these options are no longer within Madden and why they haven't been brought back to Madden. This has been one of the biggest points for Madden players for so long now is the customization aspect and being able to do these things that make a franchise fun, that make playing the game fun, entertaining, and keep its longevity. That's one of the biggest issues that Madden and various other EA games have struggled with for a long time, and that is their longevity. They come out, people play them for a month or two, and then they get bored because the gameplay is broken, it's glitchy, it's buggy, and there's not enough depth and substance to their franchise modes and things like that that are long-term modes to keep people entertained. So when you add things like this, it helps to keep things entertaining because you can always go and create a new team. You can select their colors, create their uniforms, create their mascot, create their stadium and do all of these various different things that are available within other EA games. I just can't believe that, you know, you can sit here and look at an EA NHL game and see that this is in the game and then not be mad that these types of things aren't available within Madden, which is like the premier EA title. So, you know, and I know that FIFA is more of a worldwide game, so that is probably the premier title, but nonetheless, if this is in NHL, this should 
be in Madden. And this is one of the biggest things people have been complaining about for a while. You guys make how much money off of Ultimate Team. I don't care what it costs you. Get a deal done with whoever you have to get a deal done with so that you can add customization to the game. If that's a certain thing that you have to negotiate with the NFL, work it out and get it done because that would make your game so much more marketable and make so many original Madden fans happy. People that play this game year in and year out for the franchise mode and for the depth that the game could potentially offer them and the ability to play with their friends in a long-term league. So guys, let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below. That is a list of items that are already within other EA titles that are, have not been in Madden and should be absolutely brought over to Madden. A lot of those things I don't think are that complicated to be honest with you and they should certainly be getting with these dev teams to see how they can make these things happen because like I said FIFA and NHL both have some significant features that are not present within Madden that would help to add to the depth of the game and help to revive the community and revive the game as a whole. So like I said let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Let me know are there any other features that you have noticed in other EA titles that aren't within Madden that should be because I could think of a few others that I could potentially mention on this list that just didn't rise to the same level of significance but nonetheless if you guys enjoyed this topic of discussion enjoyed this video make sure you leave that like down below comment down below as I said and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here I'll see you guys in the next one and I hope you have a good one